Going with the Cocoa Puffs shirt for this video because it's the closest association I can get with the word of the day. You're probably also wondering why I wouldn't just hold it up with my hands instead of my teeth, but I felt like it. So the word we're going to be changing today is coconut. And coconut, really not all that related to Cocoa Puffs, but it just shares the first couple letters. Anyway, I think coconuts, not Cocoa Puffs, coconuts are disgusting, honestly. I think they are another one of those fruits that are despicably bad. And I know that I eviscerated Mephlenogrenmalen, but honestly, coconuts are probably worse flavor and texture-wise, and they really are just bad. And there's a lot of things to hate about coconuts, let me tell you. I mean, they're awkward to consume. For one, they're hairy on the outside and hard, so even getting to their insides is not easy. And I'm pretty sure there's even like more deaths by coconuts falling from trees and hitting people in the head than, I don't know, other stuff. <laughs> it happens, so like, yeah, other stuff. So like coconuts are even like somewhat dangerous, which would be cool if they didn't taste like shit. Uh, but yeah, they, they taste poor, mostly because they're bland, they don't have a lot of flavor. However, the thing that really hurts when coconut is added into something is their texture is awful. That's a huge turnoff for me with a lot of foods, and coconut is absolutely one. It can ruin something just by being in there. Not every food is like that. Coconut is. So they look and feel nasty. They're hard to consume naturally. They can kill ya. They taste bad, and their texture is bad. So yeah, coconuts fucking suck. We're gonna give them a new name. Their new name shall be Hersicland. Hersicland is the combination of three ideas. We have hair, because that's a hairy fruit. Fucking weird. Then we have sack, because that's really what a coconut is. It's just kind of like a big old ball, like it belongs in a sack. Then we have land, which comes from bland. So Hersicland is like hairy sack of bland. Hersicland. Hersicland, Hersicland. I think we go with Hersicland. I mean, it's more close to bland anyway. Whew, it's kind of like two days of like real hatred on these ones. But uh, we, we'll maybe try to put a little bit more of a positive spin on tomorrow. We'll see. But uh, I, I can't like fake being positive about coconuts. It's absolutely not going to happen. So for the comment of the day, Gavin says, I'm with you. Subtitles suck. Not a fan. Of course he would want to focus on those words, is Peyton talking about tits? The Sagas deserve to not watch TV. Thank you for the comment, Gavin. I would partially agree with the final statement. I would say they don't deserve to watch TV with others. They can do whatever they want on their loan. We can, like, isolate them, put them in, like, a quarantine chamber where they can watch TV with subtitles on, but, um, I don't think that they should be doing it with other people ever. No, that we don't need that to spread or for them to have any influence. I actually really like this comment. It's also good to get some Peyton input in there too, even if it is her somewhat chastising me. But a little bit of extra reaction is good. I like it. Gonna give this comment a 50 out of 58. Then for the song of the day. Song of the day is Revenge by XXXTentacion. This is probably my favorite X song. Some of his best music is just very simple and bare bones, but also somewhat like haunting and beautiful, and I'd say that's very accurate for this song. And I always kind of think of this as a song that would play at like the very end of a movie, as something just crazy and sad just occurred, and like the characters walking off screen, and it's super epic, and it's a great ending, I don't know. But I really, really like this song. Then for the video of the day, it is an Eric Andre clip from when Tyler the Creator was on. Basically any moment from this show is absolute gold, so I kind of just picked one and rolled with it. Because I absolutely love the chaos and the guai red aspects of this show. It is tremendous. And that will do it for the Daily Do. Peace out.